Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for attending. Uh, uh, my name is Hana Dilswe Shat. Uh, I'm a PhD student in Biomedical Sciences uh, in MDS. Uh, I'm originally from Jordan. Uh, the talk is about our research in the lab, which is about developing a cell model system for a group of uh, diseases called synclinopathies, uh, which, uh, which refer to a group of neurodegenerative diseases um, uh, that are characterized by the accumulation of a protein called alpha synuclein uh, in the neurons of the central nervous system. Um, despite extensive research, um, uh, there is um, a lack in uh, understanding uh, these diseases because there is a lack of, uh, uh, of a cell disease model system uh, for this group of diseases. So our uh, research project aim is to develop a cell model system uh, for these alpha synuclein disorders. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce uh, my mentors who ha I have the pleasure to be under their supervision. My supervisor, Dr. Elsa Pinar, and my co-advisor, uh, Dr. Douglas Ward. And, uh, before moving forward, I would like to share a quote that I usually use to solve any kind of a problem, either personally or professionally, which is to reason backwards. Um, so I will apply also this method to give this talk uh, in the upcoming slides. So as mentioned before, we have a group of diseases called synclinopathies, like uh, Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia. The clinical symptoms are varied, but what they have in common is the aggregates, uh, the protein aggregates that are called alpha synuclein. Normally speaking, the alpha synuclein as monomers or tetramers, uh, they occur. This is the norm. But when they misfold or aggregate, they form what is called fibrils, and these will uh, lead to generation of Lewy body, which is a protein called alpha synuclein. And once they are formed and accumulated, they, they will lead, this will lead to the neurodegeneration and neuronal loss. And what's also worth mentioning is that once they are formed, they are spread from one neuron to another neuron in a prion-like manner. So to recap, what we are trying to do in the lab is to develop a cell disease model system by using the appropriate neurons and these aggregates. Uh, so we chose cholinergic neurons. We will be using LAN2 cells with the appropriate differentiation factors to convert these cells into cholinergic neurons. Uh, why cholinergic neurons? Uh, because in patients with these disorders, uh, extensive degeneration occur uh, with varied symptoms, extensive ones. So that's why we chose uh, these types of uh, neurons. And LAN2 cells, which is a cell line neuroblastoma, uh, uh, have a neuron, uh, neuronal specific characteristics, um, uh, which is mainly uh, the storage of a uh, uh, significant amount of acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter which is used for the co uh, cognitive processes in the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. So the dysfunction or uh, the depletion of acetylcholine is one of the features that we can see with cognitive decline and uh, dementia. So what's also worth mentioning is the effect of these alpha synuclein uh, protein aggregates on the mitochondria. So the function will be this, uh, the function of mitochondria will be affected. Uh, this will lead to mitochondrial dysfunction as well as uh, the accumulation of uh, large scale deletions on mitochondrial DNA over time. Uh, and uh, we will be using also protein aggregates. Uh, we will convert monomers to preformed fibrils in the lab in a seven day period time. And as you can see, this is the whole journey. What's worth mentioning is the extensive shaking the, for seven days at 37 degrees uh, to have these preformed fibrils. 
and th this will undergo several quality control measures uh, to uh, confirm and validate the optimal uh, fibrillization. And once they pass these quality controls, we can move ahead to syndicate these fibrils to have the optimal length of these fibrils to, to induce the cells. And of course, we will use DLS to confirm before and after the syndication that we have the desired uh, length of fibrils. Um, so we set the timeline for inducing these fibrils, the syndicated fibrils, into cholinergic neurons. We will use a dose response effect, different doses, because we need to optimize the dose first. And, uh, yeah, and, and after seven days, we will start checking if the, the pathological feature of alpha syndicillin, the phosphorylated one, started to, uh, to uh, occur, uh, which will validate the endogenous recruitment of the pathological feature. This is based on literature review that when we go practical, this may uh, be adjusted. So now what we now have established uh, our cell disease model system. But uh, of course, we need to characterize this cell model system. First, we will do cell variability and cytotoxicity assays to confirm that the dose that we used for preformed fibrils were, was optimal. We will use uh, recession reduction, which is more concerned about the metabolic activity and the LDH, which will be in the inverse of the cell uh, and will indicate the cytotoxic effect. Um, and also we will use a visualization assay using two stains to indicate the alive versus dead cells. And as we said before, um, mitochondrial dysfunction is the main uh, feature of the pathological disease upon the aggregates. So we will use, uh, we will conduct series of experiments to investigate uh, the mitochondrial function using C-holes or Ouroboros. Uh, and of course, we will do dual whole transcriptome and mitochondrial DNA, DNA sequencing. And you can imagine now how much after establishing the cell model system using two, uh, the LAN2 cells and the aggregates to collect big data about uh, the disease, uh, um, to decipher the drivers and contributors uh, of the miscommunication between the nuclear and mitochondrial. And this will pave the way to the um, to, to, uh, uh, discovery of a new novel treatments for the disease and to advance our understanding uh, of the disease as well. And um, of course, we will start to understand more about the mechanisms of, uh, these, of these diseases once the aggregates are formed. Uh, thank you all, and I would be glad to hear any of your questions.